What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to talk about the latest updates and features available in the new Sunshine 23.1. Uh, this also includes the updates in 23.0, which came just before that, which was a critical security patch, but 23.1 is essentially the latest version of Sunshine available, so we're going to go over that. And Sunshine is a great application that I use for essentially all of my uh, cloud streaming needs. I don't subscribe to any services anything like that i just have sunshine running on my gaming computer and i can play it when i'm away from home or even when i just want to play on my phone or something and have a really high quality experience or on my steam deck um, but yeah let's get into the video itself what is uh, sunshine sunshine is an application by lizard bite that essentially lets you run a game on your gaming computer and stream it to another device such as a phone um, some high-end Chromecasts, uh, your Steam Deck, another laptop, um, basically like remote play, but it works for anything. And uh, this will work on any uh, GPU as well, AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel, as well as uh, processing directly from the CPU. So let's get into what changed in uh, 23.0 and 23.1. Let's go ahead and go to the releases. And we're going to talk about uh, 23.0 first. So in 23.0, again, as I mentioned earlier, this was a major update uh, that contained some uh, critical security fixes um, and a few changes that may break your setup. So you may want to pause on upgrading or upgrade immediately, depending on which case you happen to be in. Um, but for the security updates, if your um, system is compatible, you definitely want to update to 23.0 or 23.1 immediately, just because, you know, security patches, you never want to leave your uh, computer susceptible to someone being able to see your screen, potentially in this case. And uh, secondly, the way that this might uh, break support is uh, Sunshine no longer supports Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, so if you're using 20.04, you'll need to use 24.04 uh, or a newer version of Ubuntu to actually use Sunshine, um, as well as uh, ARM64 packages no longer being built on Linux. So if you need a package for a device that uh, uses ARM64 at the moment, you may need a package differently or use a different device. But aside from those um, issues uh, or things that had to be changed, for example, just, you know, you have to have a newer version of Ubuntu, um, everything else is essentially bug fixes and security updates. But that's when we get into 23 point one. 23.1 not only contains bug fixes, but it also contains improvements for the capture and user interface features. One of the major uh, updates is on the Linux end, where the frame time and consistency on all capture backends has been updated, meaning that you're going to get less stuttering and uh, less lag, providing a more stable and um, smooth experience. Another uh, quick update that might not seem like a big deal, but actually is kind of a, a big deal if you're in this user base, um, but the focus of the enter your pin box uh, is now focused by default and the reason this is useful is because if you're away from home and you need to enter that pin to verify that it's you and you're on like a device like a uh, that has gamepad support it may be difficult to enter that pin if it's not automatically selected so by having the pin automatically selected when you go to the page it's going to support or make it at least easier on other devices and that's about it so bug fixes stability improvements um performance improvements and a massive security update that you'll want to update to uh, very soon. I'll add the links to the latest version in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. Mike the tech, Mike the tech, huh? Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?